Hi there and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making this delicious no-bake chocolate tart. The recipe is super simple and quick, but results in a tart that looks and tastes like it was prepared by a professional pastry chef. As always, all the ingredients and the full recipe are in the description box, so you don't have to worry about memorizing all the steps. We'll start with preparing the crust. And for the crust, you will need 24 Oreo cookies. I'm using Trader Joe's gluten-free version of Oreos, but you could use whichever ones you have on hand. My package has 24 cookies, and this is a perfect amount for my 9-inch tart pan. Put all the cookies in the food processor and keep pulsing it until it resembles coarse sand. To this, we will add 5 tablespoons of melted butter and give it a couple more pulses to make sure it's mixed in evenly. I have a tart pan with a removable bottom, but if you don't have one, it's okay. Just use a regular pan and line it with either foil or parchment paper. I will use my hands to press the mixture evenly and form a uniform crust. Once it's done, put the pan in the freezer for at least 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's measure out 12 ounces of chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate chips for a rich chocolate flavor. In a small saucepan, warm up one cup of heavy whipping cream with four tablespoons of butter. Once it starts bubbling up, and it looks like it's almost boiling, pour it over the chocolate and let it stand for a couple of minutes. Now mix it all together until uniform consistency and pour the entire mixture into our chilled crust. Your tart is ready and we're going to put it in the refrigerator for at least four hours to set. This is a perfect dessert to whip up in the morning of your dinner party. Before serving the tart, let it sit for about 20 minutes at room temperature for a creamier consistency. And it's optional, but I like to also decorate it with some fresh fruit. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments. This recipe was filmed by my awesome nephew, who is also a YouTuber. And if you're into gaming, please check out his channel, Super Me Samurai, which I linked in the description.